Hi everyone, it's been a while now since I last spoke with you, but I'm back and what I want to speak to you about today is how to stay competitive. Being busy, I suppose, is a great thing, um, but sometimes it delays or even stops you from taking a hard look at your own processes and how you can improve them. What I'm going to show you today and in the future videos is how Top Solid will improve your set out processes by cutting time, errors and wastage and improving your sales, communication and reliability and quality, of course, which when all brought together improves your profits and keeps you competitive, giving you that edge. So if I just opened up a new drawing here um, in Top Solid, and if I spoke briefly about the main difference with and the key difference with top solid wood, the key difference is that they focus on both CAD and CAM. Drawing here and production. We've got integrated production and machining functionality here in top solid wood. See, other packages just focus on one or the other as they don't have the development team or personnel and therefore they don't have the knowledge to understand what you need. Not so with Top Solid with a development team of nearly 100 staff alone and as it is a worldwide organization it brings worldwide knowledge to you from the joinery industry. So let me show you how to create say for instance a circular framework um, it could be a seating area, it could be anything like that. So let's just start here, okay? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a circle right here. And I'm going to say the diameter needs to be maybe 3,000 mils, okay? And we'll say the center has to be there. And let's just zoom out so you can see the full size. Now I'm going to say maybe the other circle needs to be 500 and this could be the center so you might have maybe a cutout or something in the middle okay so what I can do is I can finish up that I can finish up that drawing and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a line from say the center here all the way up here and I'm just going to trim it back because I want this line now to run along where my ribs are going to be okay so click on this we'll say it needs to go to here and it needs to go to here that's it it's as simple as that so here if i go to my 3d view and also if i want to develop a 3d model of that take a look at that that's all i'm doing i'm just extruding it up okay what I'm going to show you next are some of the wood features like the groove. So if I have ribs here, I might want to groove them into the bottom um, bottom panel. So here I can click on my tool path, my shape that I want to assign the groove to. And it opens up this really good dialog box. So you can actually pick the profile tool. You can create your own profile tools and we can say, look, groove width needs to be the thickness of the board so we'll just type in t and look the depth needs to be half the thickness of the board so we'll say t divided by two and we'll press ok and there you have it that's your groove now that's got real tooling built in behind this as well okay so you're not just assigning it for visual purposes but also of course very importantly for production purposes and that's where Top Solid comes to the fore because it's not just for visual and CAD side of the things, it's also for CAM and production. So here I'm going to actually copy this around the circle and we'll say the number needs to be 10 or whatever N is. And they're all my grooves then for, say for instance, for our ribs. Now let's look at creating the ribs. So now let's create our first rib. So let's just pick here and we don't want it starting from there. So I'm going to start this rib from here. Press OK and bring it up. So 500 mils in height. Now let's copy this all around and let's use the repeat function. OK, what do you want to repeat? I want to repeat that. Where do we want to repeat it? Maybe N again and copy it around. 
so quick, so easy. So let's now create the top panel and skins. Okay, top panel. Once again, I'm just gonna click on perhaps the top of this panel here. And let's say it needs to be whatever T is the thickness of my board. There you go, finished. Now let's create the ends or the skins, okay? That we want on the inside, but also on the outside of this um, joinery piece. So let's look at this view easy so let's just create two profiles here okay for my outside skin and my inside skin so here we'll just create a rectangle auto dimension that's the beauty of top solid when you assign dimensions automatically it then is parametric and that's what i mean by advanced parametrics and it doesn't matter if it's a curve or a rectangular shape and I'll show that you that in a few minutes. But first of all, let's get this up and running. So this might be just six months, okay? And whatever that is, we might want this to be. So we'll replace that with this. So the two of them now are six months. What I'm also gonna do is I'm going to assign a dimension from here to here, done. So what I'll do here is I'll just minimize this to be zero. Now let's look back at our overall drawing, zoom out and rotate. Because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wrap the skin around this drawing. Let's go to our 3D model and let's sweep this around our drawing. Now you can pick the point that you want to actually stop it at. You can pick the angle, or else you can just say 360. Easy, done. Now, let's do the inside one as well. Let's do that again. Show you how easy it is to do this. Click on that, press OK, and let's just say 360. Done. Inside and outside skin, finished. Ribs finished. Machining for our rebates finished. Our top and our bottom. Now, let's change up the parametrics. Remember, we've got this inside radius. If we click on that, and if we said 1,000 mils, and enter, look at that. Everything changes together. It's all associative. The ribs, the skins, the top panel, the bottom panel, everything. So if we said, right, well, let's change this now to 3,500 in diameter. Done, machining, updated all associative it really does not get any easier than this let's assign a cutout for a cable or something like that in our drawing let's just create a circle right here done okay now let's create a cutout or a pocket so let's create the or let's actually pick the face we want the pocket to be on let's say it through all and look it assigns it to every other rib within my drawing. Now you can pick as well what ribs you want the actual machining to be assigned to as well. But how easy is that? How much time would that save you? How much errors would that save you? Because it's all associative, it updates the machining tooling. And also, of course, if it was linked to your drafting. So now let's create a draft on this. Now. Let's go and create our draft pages and let's pick everything within my drawing and look how easy this is. It brings in all the elevations all at once that you require for your drawing here in your own template that you can set up yourself. It really does not get any easier than this. Now, what it's also done is created a cussingness according to what you've got within this drawing skins tops you can modify this whole cutting this according to what you want so it's not locked into the background so you have to get a programmer to actually do it for you it's here for you for and free for you to edit so here what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to edit this drawing and i'm going to say right well what i want is i want to shaded mode and i want to turn on my hidden lines and let's press ok wow 
brings in your hidden lines, but also, of course, your textures. Let's do the same for this drawing. Let's bring it in. Let's create our shaded mode and let's turn on our solid line. We see through it. Now, what we can also do is bring in sections, of course, into our drawing. Like I, I've shown you this before in, a, in other, um, in previous videos, but let's just quickly go through this again. So I've just inverted it so you can look behind, press OK, and we can set it to alignment or else we can free move it around. So that's my section with all my contours. You can see our rebates and so on. And then, of course, I can just assign dimensions to that. How much a rebate? Nine mils. OK, excellent. Right, what's the thickness of my board? We'll say 18 mils. Perfect. What's the overall height for my drawing? Assign a dimension once again, maybe from here to here. 534. Perfect. Now, I don't think I've shown you this previously, but what you can do in the actual plot sheet is modify the drawing. So I can click on this plot sheet and I can say actually the thickness of my board needs to be 25 mils. Update your drawing to suit. Ah, 25 mils. And also update your 3D model. Take a look at this. You'll probably be able to see this a bit better because if we increase the number of ribs from 10 to 15, and an increase the number of rebates as well. How powerful is that? And how much time would that save you? Right there and then. And it's so simple to do here in top solid wood. This is what I mean by powerful parametrics. And I'm not even done yet. Let's go into this drawing here and let's create a detail. I wanna create a detail here, say our drawing, circle maybe from here extend it out bring it up now what we can very easily do if we said right let's move this maybe to this distance it updates my drawing to suit my new section do you see that it's updating what i've also got here is i can blow this up to whatever size i want maybe five move it out Perfect. Now let's create an exploded view for my drawing over here. So go back to my 3D model. Click on assembly and we'll say, look, we'll create an exploded assembly. We'll say, look, spherical explosion, that'll be fine. We'll say this needs to be maybe 2.5. So what I can do now is I can bring that into my drawing over here. So let's get back into our um, draft and let's create a new view from spherical explosion. And now it's asking me, what kind of view do you want? Well, I want this view and I want shaded mode and I want, yeah, we'll just leave that hidden. And just press OK and bring it in. And there you have it, rendered and everything. Now, you can apply indexes to this drawing. But what I'd like to do is just create a 3D view of perhaps this drawing here. Okay, so let's bring that in. So here, let's click on our main view again. Let's bring in our main assembly. That's okay, that drawing. And again, it's asking me, well, what kind of view do you want? And do you want shaded view on? Yeah, I do. So let's bring that one in. Now, it's a bit too small, so let's scale it up a small bit. Uh, we'll say... Four, enter, nice and big, there we go. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you now is the uh, 3D PDF and how you, you can create it. You can create it now on the actual um, draft, but also on the 3D model. So here we can go file, save as. And this is one of the beauties about Top Solid. It's got so many different file formats that you can open and also save as. Which, better, which means better communication both internally in the business and also externally to your client, to the architect, to other companies, so to subcontractors, subcontractors are doing your upholstery, metal, glass, whatever it is. So it understands your business and what you need at your fingertips to be able to 
run your production. So here, let's save as a 3D PDF and let's just say document 11. Okay, now I'm going to pick what I want to save as a 3D PDF. So let's just open that now on my desktop. Document 11, done. Let's, it's just Adobe Acrobat this. And as you can see, you're, you can send this to your client, send it off to them. What we can also do is we can also look at the views here and we can say, turn off the top. There's my top, turn that off and there you have it. You can see what's happening actually internally within the drawing. And this is just Adobe Acrobat, as I said, which you can, but you can save as a 3D PDF in top solid wood. There isn't too many softwares that can do that. Now, let's go back and let's actually go to my draft once again. And I'm going to save my draft as a 3D PDF as well. What this will mean is that what I showed you earlier on, you're going to have that capability within this drawing. So I'm going to pick all documents. I'm going to pick this view and I'm going to export it out. So let's go back to my desktop again and open up that draft. But take a look at it this time around. Rotate. So you've got all your 2D views, but you've also got 3D. So you can combine them and you can scroll in. You can create sections here. And this, again, is just normal Adobe Acrobat that you get on your computer. Everyone has it. And we can create sections and so on through this. How good is that? It's giving you the power to better communicate with your clients. But also from a sales point of view, I'm sure you can see that you can utilize this. You can use this actually when you're out on site. Now, if I go back to my drawing and I just open this up once again, and if I actually take a look at my 3D model, I maybe go on plan view. Of course, if you created, wanted to create a cutout there, like I've shown you before, you can very easily do it by just clicking on the top that you want to cut out from through all. And there you have it. And guess what? It updates your shop drawing as well to suit. How good is that? And of course, this is just tip of the iceberg. Top solid wood has other features as well, like features for glass, like features for some of your upholstery, like your freeform surface shapes for metal. Because of course, joinery isn't just wood, it's metal, it's glass, it's upholstery, and top solid wood understands that. It's one step ahead, as I said earlier on. Top solid wood understands the joinery industry and gives you the tools to make your set out and production process quicker, easier, more efficient. And with its R&D team or research and development team of almost 100, you can be assured that this will continue. And look, I encourage you to take a look at your own processes and see how Top Solid Wood can help you. What I'm going to do with this PDF is I'm going to upload it to our website, www.integratedjoinery.com.au so that you can download it and you can have a play with it and see how it will work for you. All you have to do is open it up in Adobe Acrobat and look what I'll also do is I'll upload this um, standalone 3D PDF um, so you can take a look at this and you can start turning off um, parts and so on and actually playing around with it. So thank you for your time once again and please do not hesitate in contacting us and just follow the links to download the 3D PDF and the normal PDF. Thanks guys and everyone, take care.